The sun is a restless overlord. Its fiery gaze scorches the earth beneath my boots as I led my team through the jagged maw of the canyon. Every step I take is an act of defiance against the unforgiving terrain of the American Southwest. The canyons around us are like the ribs of some ancient slumbering beast, and we, mere mortals, dare to tread upon its bones. Keep close, I called out, my voice barely carrying over the sound of our synchronized footsteps that vibrated against the oppressive walls. The echo serves as a haunting reminder that in this place, nature does not yield, it dominates. My fingers brush against the worn leather of my satchel. It's heavy with tools of our trade, but it's my resolve that truly weighs on me. As we venture deeper, the silence is absolute, save for the occasional clatter of a loose stone kicked down the path by one of us. Each echo feels like a taunt, as if the canyon itself is mocking our pursuit of knowledge. Our hunger to unearth secrets long buried within its sinewy depths. I squinted against the glare of the sun, which seems to aim its blistering rays with malicious intent. Even the air we breathe is tinged with the taste of dust and desolation, a stark reminder of how inhospitable this ancient land to those who dare unveil its mysteries. The heat wraps around us like a shroud, suffocating and unyielding. Our journey today is driven by the whispers of the past. Tales of petroglyphs etch into the canyon's flesh, holding truths untold. With each step, the anticipation builds within me, a gnawing curiosity that has become my constant companion. It's that very curiosity that has led me here, where the lines between academic pursuit and obsession blur. The landscape is a canvas of desolation, painted with hues of red and orange that bleed into one another under the harsh gaze of the sun. In the distance, the outline of the canyon walls rise up like the jagged teeth of some primordial creature ready to snap at any moment, and yet, amidst the stark brutality of this place, there is a beauty, an undeniable rawness that fuels my passion. Sam, watch your step, comes a cautious voice behind me, reminding me that even in my fervor, I am not alone. We are a team bound together by a shared thirst for discovery and the thrill of the unknown. Our destination lies ahead, veiled in shadow and silence, beckoning us to uncover what lies beyond the realm of the living. The sun may be merciless, the silence overwhelming, but my heart races with the promise of discovery. For within these ancient walls lie stories waiting to be told, horrors to be faced, and truths to be revealed. And I, Dr. Sam Jameson, will stop at nothing to bring them into light. Pass me the brush, will you? I called out, my voice a stark contrast to the sibilant whispers of sand skidding across the rock. My fingers itched for the tool as I hovered over a promising fissure that cleaved through the earth at my feet. Here, grunted Mark, the team's geologist, his hand extending a worn brush with bristles frayed from use. His skeptical eye never failed to question my hunches, yet here he was, indulging my instincts. Our relationship was a dance of respect and rivalry, each step measured, each turn sharp with silent challenges. Thanks, I muttered, focusing on the task. The excavation was delicate work, 
Every stroke had to be precise, like a surgeon wielding a scalpel. The others watched, a circle of guardians against the encroaching dead of the canyons. Think we'll find anything, Sam? Asked Jenna. Her tone light, but her eyes betrayed a glimmer of the same hunger that drove us all. She was the youngest of us, eager and bright. Her presence a bomb to the raw edges of our group's dynamics. Something calls us from these stones, I replied, more to myself than to her. I can feel it. The sun bore down, an unyielding overseer, as we worked in tense silence. Time slipped by unnoticed, measured only by the shadows that began their slow crawl across the canyon floor. And then, my brush caught on something. A line, no, several lines etched into the rock. With each careful sweep, a form emerged. Grooves deepened by an ancient hand refilling a petroglyph so old it seemed to pulse with the weight of eons. Look at this, I breathe, my heart pounding with triumph. The image sprawled before us was both mesmerizing and malevolent. A creature with limbs too many to count, a body twisted in shapes unnatural. Its eyes hollowed pits that seemed to stare back from the abyss of time. Impossible. Mark's voice trailed off, his usual skepticism swallowed by the sight. The description was a grotesque mockery of life. Limbs contorted, fangs bared in a silent snarl, claws that suggested not just predation, but intelligence behind the hunt. Sam, what is that? Jenna's voice quivered, the notes of excitement now edged with fear. Shh! I hushed her. My gaze locked onto the carving. Was it my imagination, or did the air around us grow colder? An omen? Mark ventured, his face unreadable. Or a warning? Neither, I said, the scientist within me refusing superstition. It's a piece of history, a chapter of a story long forgotten. But even as I spoke, the unsettling sense of being watched crept over me, a prickle on the skin that defied reason. We stood together, a fellowship scrolled around an ancient horror, bound by the thrill of discovery and a dawning realization that some secrets might not have been meant to stay buried in the unforgiving embrace of the canyons. The silence was almost suffocating. As we stood encircled by the ancient stone gallery, the weight of a thousand sun-baked days pressing down upon our shoulders, my breath came in short, sharp burst, my mind refusing to untangle the disturbing collage of images chiseled into the canyon walls. Looks like the local boogeyman, Dan joked breaking the spell as he traced a finger along the jagged outline of the creature. Or a bedtime story to keep the kids from wandering off. Janet chimed in, her earlier fear subsiding as she embraced the comforting blanket of logic. Exactly, I replied, forcing a smile. Yet the petroglyphs beckoned whispering secrets I was determined to decipher. Tribal tales often have roots in some sort of truth. They're cautionary, meant to teach or warn. Warn about what, Dr. Jameson? Mark raised an eyebrow, his voice dripping with skepticism. There's no such thing as monsters. Just nature, red in tooth and claw. Nature doesn't usually carve its nightmares into rock walls, I countered quietly. My eyes scanning the grotesque figure, each curve and line 
instilling a hunger for understanding that overshadowed my trepidation. Yet here we stand, debating mythology in the middle of nowhere, Dan said with a dismissive wave. Let's document it and move on. We got real history to uncover. Right, Jenna agreed, but her glance at me held a flicker of doubt. I shared curiosity she wouldn't voice. But the petroglyphs had etched themselves into my very soul, a mold spreading through my thoughts, dark and restless. The air grew thick with a scent of secrets and decay, the oppressive heat of the canyons warping reality around us. Sam? Mark's concern broke through my reverie. You okay? Fine, I lied my pulse racing with the thrill of the unknown. Just thinking. Think it can be dangerous out here, he warned, his gaze scanning the desolate landscape as if to hid unspeakable truths. Sometimes danger is necessary to unearth the past, I muttered, more to myself to him, my resolve hardening like the rocks that cradled the cryptic chronicle of an ancient horror. Something stirred within me, a primal fear mingled with the scientist's zeal. I needed to know, to understand what the petroglyphs truly represented. Let's set up camp, I announced, tearing my gaze away from the haunting image. Tomorrow, we delve deeper. Into the canyon or the legend? Dan asked, half mocking, Half curious, both, I whispered, the word hanging in the air, a potent of horrors yet to come. The morning sun had not yet clawed its way above the canyon's rims when I set out, leaving the others shrouded in the hush of pre-dawn slumber. My boots crunched on the gravel-strewn path, a staccato accompanied to the thumping of my heart. The canyon seemed to swallow me whole, their towering walls a silent testament to eons of secrets. Sam, wait up! Jenna's voice echoed behind me, her presence an unwanted reminder of the world beyond these ancient stones. Didn't want to wake the team, I said without looking back, my eyes scanning the rocky expanse for another glimpse of those cryptic symbols that had haunted my dreams. Like hell, she retorted, catching up with brisk strides that matched my own urgency. You're obsessed. Curious, I corrected her sharply, pausing as a new cluster of petroglyphs emerged from the shadows, their forms undulating across the stone surface like malignant growths. Jesus, Sam. Jenna's breath hitched, and I knew she saw it too. The grotesque tableau etched into the rock, more vivid and visceral than any we'd encountered before. This array was a nightmarish sequence. Figures twisted and elongated, human limbs merging with bestial features. A hunter, his arm morphing into a scaly limb of a reptile. A woman, her face splitting to reveal the fanged maw of a predator. Each carving was more harrowing than the last. A parade of mutations that defied the natural order. Look at their expressions, I whispered, stepping closer. The smell of dust and antiquity filling my lungs. Fear. Agony. Transformation. Or just some crude artistry, Jenna countered, though her voice wavered, betraying her skepticism. Artistry doesn't make your skin crawl, I said, tracing a finger over depiction so vile. A creature caught mid-shift, half man, half thing that my stomach churned in revolt. This is a warning. Warning or not, you're playing with fire here, Sam. Jenna's hand grasped my shoulder, 
call me away from the hypnotic horror. Let's get back to the others. Wait. My eyes caught on a symbol beneath the carvings. A singular glimpse that felt familiar, though I couldn't place it. It beckoned me, whispering promises of revelation, of hidden knowledge within its crevices and lines. Sam! I shook off Jenna's grip, heat rising in my chest. No, there's something here, something we're meant to find. Or something meant to stay buried, Jenna shot back. But I could tell she wouldn't leave me alone in this desolate place. Then help me uncover it, I said, addressing her unspoken fear. If we don't understand what happened here, who will? Jenna sighed, a sound loss amidst the rising wind that carried with it a taste of ancient dread. Together, we stepped deeper into the canyon's embrace, where the sun dared not tread, and the echoes of shape-shifting terror lingered, waiting to be awakened. The canyon's shadow swallowed us whole as we inched forward, the team's breath a chorus of unsettled whispers behind me. The oppressive silence was a living thing, an observer that watched with unseen eyes. Did you see that? Mark's voice cracked with stillness. His flashlight beam darting a crevice where darkness pulled thicker than blood. See what? I asked, my pulse quickening, my own light joining his in a futile search for clarity. Nothing. It's nothing. But the tremor in his denial spoke volumes. The petroglyphs seemed to throb with malevolent life as we passed, their grotesque figures casting elongated shadows that danced and twisted on the rock face. Each step felt like a descent into the bowels of some ancient beast, the air growing thick, heavy with the scent of wet earth and decay. Guys, this isn't right, Lisa murmured her voice barely above a whisper. We're rational people. We shouldn't let these carvings get to us. Then why do I feel like we're being haunted? Jonas normally steady hand gripped mine, her knuckles white with fear. Her question hung between us, unanswered. A sudden gust of wind snarled through the canyon, carrying with it a sound that froze my blood, a low guttural growl that seemed to echo from every direction. Instinctively, we huddled closer, the familiar light of day now just a distant memory, now replaced by the creeping terror that slithered along our spines. Animals, I tried to convince myself as much as them, but the lie tasted bitter on my tongue. Animals don't make sounds like that, Mark countered, his eyes scanning the shadows, as if expected them to coalesce into the very creature the petroglyphs depicted. Let's keep moving, I urged, hoping motion would quell the mounting dread. We need to find- Find what, Sam? Our own graves? Lisa's sarcasm cut deeper because we all felt it the insidious doubt seeping into our resolve. Look! Jenna pointed to a nearby ledge where a fresh set of petroglyphs revealed themselves. Untouched by time, the depiction was clear. A humanoid figure, its body a patchwork of animal parts, eyes hollow pits that seemed to stare back at us with hunger. Mutations? I whispered, my throat dry. Or transformations? Does it matter? Mark's question was rhetorical, his gaze locked on the hunting image. Either way, it feels like a warning. Warnings are meant to be heeded, Lisa added, her usual skepticism dissolving into the air, as thick and real as the moldy scent that clung to the rocks around us. Something is here with us. Jenna's voice broke. 
a mix of realization and terror. Something that doesn't want us here. Then let's not overstay our welcome, I said, though my legs refused to carry me away from the grotesque artistry before us. As we attempted to retreat, a chorus of whispers rose from the canyon depths, words undecipherable yet laden with intent. Did you hear that? Lisa gasped, her flashlight flickering erratically as if in response to the sinister murmurs. Enough! Mark shouted, his composure cracking. This is madness! Madness or not, I replied, my heart hammering against my ribs. We've awakened something ancient, and I fear there's no putting it back to sleep. The sun had long since vanished, swallowed by the jagged teeth of the canyon walls, and with it, the illusion of safety dissipated into the creeping twilight. My breath came in short, ragged gasps as we navigated the treacherous terrain. The beam of my flashlight, a feeble sentinel against the enroaching darkness. Sam, wait up. Jenna's voice trembled from somewhere behind me. I turned, the light slicing through the darkness only to find empty space where she could have been. Jenna? The word echoed off the stone, returning to me twisted and distorted, panic clawed on my chest. Mark, Lisa, did you see where? But my question died on my lips. The spot where Mark had been surveying the area was now a void. No sign of struggle, no cry for help. He'd simply vanish into the abyss that this place had become. Lisa! I called out, desperate for the comfort of another human voice. Here! She replied, but her voice was quivering, a thin thread of sound barely reaching me. We need to stick together. Agreed, I managed to say, though my throat felt like it was closing in on itself. We huddled close our flashlights casting eerie, dancing shadows that seemed to mock our plight. Something's hunting us, Lisa whispered, her words laced with terror that mirrored my own. Taking us, I corrected grimly, one by one, like prey. We moved cautiously, the oppressive silence of the canyon weighing heavily upon us. The walls felt like they were closing in, suffocating, alive with malevolent presence. We could feel, but not see. Each step became a silent prayer, not to become the next to disappear into the merciless grasp of the unseen predator. Then, it happened. A soft scuff of scent alerted us, and we whirled around our lights converging on a figure emerging from the dark. But it wasn't Jenna or Mark. It was something else. Something grotesque and utterly terrifying. The creature before us was a chimera of flesh and nightmare. Its body a sickening tapestry of human animal parts stitched together by some unholy will. God. Lisa's voice was a little more than a horrified whisper. RUN! I screamed, the word ripping from my lungs as the creature took a loping step toward us, our feet pounding against the earth, a desperate rhythm as we fled. I dared glance over my shoulder, witnessing the horror as it shifted again, its form blurring to something even more monstrous, part man part beast, all terror. The unspeakable sight seared itself into my mind, a vision of pure dread that promised nightmares for whatever days I had left. Keep moving, I urged Lisa, who needed no convincing. We ran blindly, knowing that survival meant distance from what which sought to add us to its grotesque composition. As we escape into the relative safety of the moonlight, 
huge expanse beyond the canyon's grip, I knew one thing with chilling certainty. The horrors of past were very much alive, and we had stirred them from their ancient slumber. <laughs>